As you may know, I'm a huge K-Deck fan. I've introduced many of the lures and demonstrated how to use them to catch more fish. I'd be thrilled if my efforts help make KDEG even more popular worldwide because it's an outstanding lure fishing brand from my home country, Japan. Today, I'm going to show you the EG Shaker. For some reason, I haven't made a video about the EG Shaker yet, even though it's been a long time favorite among finesse bass fishing enthusiasts like me. Hello, hello! This is Angra Waki, a passionate Japanese fishing enthusiast coming to you from the United States. Thank you for tuning into my video and for all the support you've shown my channel. Broadcasting from the West Coast, I bring you weekly fishing videos that explore the Japanese approach to fishing, featuring popular techniques from Japan, and showcasing top-notch Japanese fishing gear. EG Shaker I believe it was launched in Japan in 2016. I checked out the blog written by KTEX founder, Professor K. Hayashi. Sadly, he has passed away. But KTEX continues to keep his blog available on the internet, which is very nice. In July 2015, K. Hayashi posted a blog article. There, he stated he's trying to make a new straight worm based on KTEG's slogan, Ultimate Lifelike Action. He said he wanted to make a straight worm that could compete with the great hand pulled worms like Roboworm from California using KTEG's injection technology. When he started the development, he set these goals. Number 1. KTEG's motto is all about creating worms that embody the ultimate lifelike action philosophy. This lure should be following it. Number 2. This worm should be a great choice for the drop shot rig. Let's be picky about how the worm sits on the drop shot. That's why this worm is non salt loading. Number 3. Easy to hook and designed to resist tearing. Number 4. Offering a wide range of sizes. After months of trials, Professor K, along with his assistant, Mr. Maji, who is now the president of KTEC, developed the EG Shaker. I believe that they truly achieved their objectives. However, Professor K mentioned a compromise that they had to make regarding the worm material. He tried to use a harder, more durable material, but he decided to opt for a softer material to achieve the ultimate lifelike action. Yet, this worm is still more durable than those made with salt-infused materials.
Crytek recently introduced a 2.5 inch EG shaker, specifically designed for edging, a style of ultralight saltwater fishing. The EG shaker's signature ultimate lifelike action proves to be just as effective for this delicate and sensitive style of angling. If you are on the hunt for a finesse fishing solution, you should definitely give the EG Shaker a try. It's available in the United States through KDEC USA. Okay, let's dive into my fishing footage. As we transition into winter, the fishing slows down. It was a challenging day out there. But I managed a few fish. Hope you enjoy the action. <sighs> Drop shot rig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's use this lure. Uh, the water is muddy. Let's try morning down. Easy shake up. Okay, deck. Shaker drop shot rig. <laughs> wow, <laughs> windy. Okay. Let's fish. Strong. Wow. And it made the water muddy, very muddy. Uh, not a good condition, I'll say. Bad. Rig, lightweight finesse drop shot rig. Uh, the wind is super annoying for this type of setup. Just shake, 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 shake. Easy shaker. It's easy to make shaking action. It's gonna be hard to catch fish today. It's just this condition. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I love Kedek. Yeah. I have caught tons of fish using Kedek soft lures. But for some reason, Kedek Easy Shaker, I'm not using this lure that much. Hmm. Easy Shaker. Of course, I have caught many fish using this lure. Yeah, but again, my roster K Tech lures are Swing Impact, EG Shiner, and Crazy Flapper, Sexy Impact, Shadow Impact. EG Shaker is um, kind of bottom of my list. But I know this lure is great, especially when I couple up it with a drop shot rig. Phenomenal action this lure has. <laughs> Unlike other KDX soft lures, this lure is a floating bait. I mean, made of the material, not sinking, floating. Yeah. Floating materials this lure uses. So, when we use this lure with a drop shot rig, this lure keeps horizontal position, not bottom down, head down, just horizontal in the water. That is the uniqueness this lure has among other KTX soft plastics. <laughs> Floating could mean. I say this lure can be used for a net rig too. But anyway, I agree this lure is designed for a drop shot rig. That's why I'm using a drop shot rig today. Shaking, California fishing is getting tougher and tougher. I don't like winter. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. Ah, small one. 
that. <laughs> yes. Headache. Easy shaker. Wow, the water temperature is very cold. <sighs> okay. When the fishing is such slow, let's go slowly. Just and stay. Bottom dragging. Slow bottom dragging. Let's drag the weight on the bottom. No stones, no weeds. Hmm. Slowly, slowly, drag the weight. Mm. I want to use the rod like this. But the wind hit my fishing line. So let's use rod like this. Okay, bye. Okay. Oh, say on, say on. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice hooking. Ooh. Yes. Finally. Wow. <laughs> the water temperature so cold. Yeah, compared to a couple of months ago. Okay, deck. Easy shaker. Drop shot rig. Thank you. Bye bye.